hello friends welcome back to my channel cracking solutions and in this video we will be taking up class 6 chapter number 4 of maths basic geometrical ideas we will be taking up the basic geometrical ideas exercise 4.5 we have taken till exercise 4.4 in the previous video we took up in this exercise there are only two questions as per the previous exercise but this exercise is a bit a bit more important than the previous one we will be having understanding of the chapter one of the quadrilaterals in this one let us come to the first question the first question suggests is draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral p q r s draw its diagonals name the diagonals is the meeting point of the diagonals in the interior or the exterior of the quadrilateral let us discuss it in half in uh, the steps that it is shown first of all let us draw a quadrilateral okay just making it this is a quadrilateral okay let us name it P Q R. You can P name P Q R S as your wish. It is not necessary. P will be here only. Q will be here. S will be here. R will be here. You can keep it any or the other way you want. Now we will draw the diagonals. Coming to the diagonals, take a line from P Q, take a line from Q R and from PS and here do they meet. Let's take this point as M. Now we have to name the diagonal rule. So we named it. Next they have asked the answer for question. Where does their meeting point? So the meeting point, their meeting point is in the interior. Yes, so the meeting point of them is will be in the in interior. Let's come to question number two. It's a very important question number two. Question number two is draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral K L M N, and we have to then name the following. Okay, so let us come to it. We will be drawing a quadrilateral. I'll just show you a quadrilateral, a rough quadrilateral. Let's say this. Is this a rough quadrilateral? You will be drawing proper. It's like you don't have to make a proper quadrilateral with pencil. As in we, we have to make a quadrilateral with pencil. But not as accurate because in the first question. Because the first question was just making a quadrilateral. In this is a rough sketch. And then they have asked few questions. First is. First A part is two pair of opposite angles opposite angles yes sorry opposite sides is the first part opposite sides what is going to be the opposite side as i told you in the introduction part if you have not seen it please go watch the introduction part before doing the exercises two pairs of opposite sides so this is one side this is second side this is third side this is fourth side so the sides which are opposite which make a plus you see, this side will be opposite to this side. This side will be opposite to this side. So, the sides will be KL is opposite to MN is your first. KL is opposite to MN and second will be MN will draw a line opposite, opposite to uh, sorry, M N will not be there. It will be K M. M K or K M. It will be K M or M K is opposite to L N. So this is the opposite pairs. Let us come to the B part. B part is the two pairs of opposite angles. Now here is angle is very simple. This angle is different from this. This angle is different from this angle. This was your opposite angle. So, which make a intersecting lines, which a diagonal is formed. When a diagonal is formed, that are the opposite angles. So, when a diagonal ever is formed, 
you are knowing that it is an opposite angle how i'll just show you here so angle k is opposite to angle n angle l is opposite to angle m so k m n and k l n they are opposite to each other you see there is a intersecting line when we form a diagonal will be formed when we take up these two let us come to the next two parts the next two parts are related to adjacent c part is two pairs of adjacent sides yes two pair of adjacent sides now when we come to adjacent sides you see the figure here adjacent sides are sides which are uh, which are going to have one in common one side will be in common so two sides can only be adjacent let me you will see here two sides sides can two sides can only be adjacent if they have one side in common so you understand this is very important two sides can only be adjacent if they have one side in common A very important this is now adjacent sides in this will be first will be km and mn so km and is adjacent to mn now how it is adjacent as i've given you in the definition when the one side will be common in this m will be common in both so m is common that is why there are adjacent sides similarly the next one will be l n is adjacent to kl isn't it so ln is adjacent to kl or we can say kl is adjacent to ln it can be either of the way okay let us come to the last part of this exercise completing the whole exercise two pair of adjacent angles similarly to the definition angles will be the two angles which have one angle in common or yes that will be it or in sense we can give a different definition to it but uh, when we solve the answer is going to be same see this k angle is going to be adjacent to l let me show you how in this angle you see m a m k l k l n you see the both angles are going to come and both will be at one point the center angle this is your reason this is your reason why we are calling them adjacent angles so we will be say angle k is adjacent to angle l similarly angle m is adjacent to angle n see angles which are here on the sides will be adjacent up making a diagonal will be opposite this was your whole exercise if you did understand it please do like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel cracking solution then i will see you in the next video with the last exercise of the chapter completing the chapter take the take then goodbye